Alright guys, this is Mithril back with another Borderlands 3 item guide video and today the item we are checking out is the slow hand. So the reason why I'm doing the slow hand right now instead of a long time ago because it's part of DLC 1 is, well, before I go over that, let me tell you where to get it. So we have to go... Do I not have the handsome jackpot on this character? No. Okay, hold on. Let me fix this. Let me do this. Let me do this. Hold on. All right. So you go here to the impound deluxe at the handsome jack uh, DLC, the handsome jackpot DLC. There we go. And you have to find D Gen 3. Spawns right here. Now, the problem is. When I would fight and kill him, he would drop the loot through the world. And that's kind of annoying because I had no idea if I got the slow hand or not. So each time I would have to go back to Sanctuary, take a look to see if I got it in the lost loot, and then run all the way back. So yeah, be careful if you guys do go farm this. For whatever reason, the loot just drops out of the world. Okay, now let me do this. That way I can do this. Put that back over here. Okay. So here it is, the slow hand. It's a moxie weapon, as you guys can see right there. You got moxie. It's also a E-Tech weapon, or an alien weapon, as you guys can see with all the eyes and the mandibles or whatever these are. Okay, it's just red. It's a Hyperion. It's red text is, take your time, sugar. So its unique ability is it shoots energy orbs that deal weapon element splash damage. And because it's a moxie weapon, it has a life steal. The slow hand has 50% life steal. That's pretty good. Three ammo per shot though. That's a little, that's a little rough. Okay. I might keep the infernal wish on for now because it is times two. And with the Infernal Wish, it becomes times three. Let's put on a Blast Master. And then I think a Hyperion Company Man, if I have one. I do not. So I guess it's going to be the Pearl. Here's the build. No bar, no bar. All right, let's see how it does. Okay, that was not smart shooting right away. It being fully auto is pretty nice. So far, the damage on it is doing pretty good. Yeah, so far it's doing all right. It's just pretty costly in the ammo. And as you guys can see, I'm not really going down and I'm pretty notorious for going down. Especially when I down myself. That's the wrong gun. Oh my god. I got a bunch of fire weapons on. Yeah, it's pretty good. You just got to be careful of downing yourself with it, especially as Moe's, because I believe I still have, yep, Porg Cross Promotion on. So be careful with that. And then, like I said, it's pretty ammo hungry. But it's pretty good so far. It did a lot of work. 
and it did it good but anyways let us go test it out now on a boss okay now i'm here on necrotofeo in front of general trance arena let's put back on the pearl now trant does have a shield kind of wish i had a shock one but i don't I mean, it's not doing the worst on his shield. Okay, you gotta be careful of that. And that. Okay, there you go. Yeah, I think it's honestly pretty good on those. I think it does a lot of good work. I'm sure there's some sort of immortal Moe's build that you could probably build with it. Let's see. If you have Russian Offensive, which is this one, this also gives you lifesteal. Then if you have Vampire, also gives you lifesteal. And then let's say you have a Sapper on, also lifesteal. Plus a Slow Hand, more lifesteal. I'm sure there's something you can do with it. But uh, yeah, there you guys go. That's going to be today's video on the slow hand. If you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Because of my channel. And I will appreciate that, guys. And then uh, let me know. Did I use the slow hand correctly? If I did, great. If I didn't use it correctly, please make sure to let me know. And then I will do a part two on it. But for now... All I really can say is, I hope to see you guys uh, next time.